Now, and see, the thing is, I don't feel good about you going up on this. No. I'm not going up there. No, you already got a tank up there. Yeah, I told her that. But she wouldn't talk anymore on here. And then she says to go ahead and go up there. If, so it's if you want to listen to it, she says, okay, it's okay. I said, can I, can I go up there? I want to hear your voice. She said, it's okay. But I think I asked, why do I need to go up there? And she said, um, it's in the darkness. we'll get you. We'll get you. So see, that's two contradictory statements. Yeah. And then when she said that I was familiar with one of the things that doesn't want to be crossed, yeah, I knew what she was talking about. Um, all of a sudden, I got a vision of Jerome, no. and I told her he he wouldn't come. Maybe he sent one of his little things, yeah. but that's down there. She said the darkness is where the men go. So I'm going to leave those three, Grandfather, Joey, Caleb, and Black Crow with you. And then we'll do another session. Well, and if I don't right hear now. from you, then I know you're not real. You're not good. I can do it out here. I was sitting right there when I got her. Let's go. Uh, let's go outside for a little bit. You need to. Let's do. Uh, you need to purge. Prayer on them first. Let's get you outside okay. first, and then we'll come back in when you're all. Okay. Okay. When they're talking, we'll keep it on. Um. We figured that out out here. Now, what did he tell you? That where the men go. And the stage is a portal that's an entrance and an exit. So, <clears throat> yeah, my heart's racing still. I'm going to, Mina, tell me about Romina. Okay, say it again. I just got... Okay, that, that can't be. She can't be him and leave that stage and go in the bowl. Because then he would get me. You've already done that. You could do that. Well, what am I not understanding? I understand she's not who she says she is, that she's not here to help me. So, but if I trust her and she gets me on the stage, it's him. Okay, I'm confused. All the ones that aren't going to come forward with their name are all a part of him. She was here three years ago. I saw her. I thought we were friends then. Even tonight, I needed to hear her voice. And she said, it's OK for me to go up there. And I don't think she realizes that she told me the darkness will get me. OK, Caleb, I want to hear from Black Crow. Let me stop it, and then we'll start it up again. Okay, Black Crow, you tell me. Okay, so three years ago, I meet this gypsy, but you're saying that she's a, she's a hippie, like a gypsy, looks like a gypsy. You, you don't know what either one is. Okay, I'm a hippie, but I tried to dress like a gypsy for her. So when I saw her three years ago, she was good. And then the day of the interview, the darkness got her. So now she's working for the darkness or she's a slave to the darkness? Okay, she's a slave. I don't know if I can save her. Because then I have to go up against him. And I can't. Not right now, no. Have you seen him? Is he on that stage? 
Okay, that's him. So I need to cross people like that young man right there, David. And there's other people in there and I need to be in a place where they're safe. I'm not going back in that vault and I'm not going near that stage. Can't you do it right here? Because we're not safe outside. He said there's too much, a lot of the things that came from the cemetery aren't the nicest things. Well, we'll just do it in there and we'll do it on this side away from the... What do we do, Caleb? Do we, as we're investigating, go along and start blessing? Yeah, I feel bad, but I can't save her. I don't think I can. She has to be strong enough to get away from it. So, the other darkness in the bathroom is what? Part of him. So, it was just a normal haunting, and when we came for the interview, he saw opportunity. Because, okay. So, you're telling me that she was good when I saw her three years ago, and she was good the day of the interview, but then he got her. For her to be as good as she was the day of the interview, he had to have done a lot to get her. Well, it don't take very much for what he, the effect he has on me. So, I need Joey, I need you all to help me. Why did she go to the stage? Grandfather just told Black Pearl that she's on the stage, waiting for me. But there's a book that needs to be removed. That's a Bible. <laughs> I put holy water all the way around that table. So they can't do anything with that there. Can Barrier. he come off mm -hmm. that stage? Will he? But he'll be weak. Well, we didn't bring a box. I'm not prepared to fight him tonight. No, nope. no. This is just a battle he's going to lose. Can't they keep him a bit? Can't they take him he back? Can't, he can't cross that holy water. Mm -mm. Uh, if I get near the stage, oh yeah, he can get a hold of me. Yeah, well, you're not going near it. That uh, scratch, Black Crow says him trying to pull me up on the stage. Mm, that makes sense. Okay, well, I need to go in there and help legitimate people bless this place. The group. Um, I, I'm not going to have any more conversations with Mina. I, I don't want to leave her, but I don't know. Who are know. you talking to? Caleb. I don't know if I'm strong enough. Caleb, could I help her? He said it would take the three of you to pull her away from his grip out into this area and then we could cross her. But I thought this was, area wasn't safe. Yeah. No, inside. Like the out area. Yeah. Away from She the was adamant there. about I don't want to cross. I don't want to cross. Now you don't want. It. Yeah. Are you guys up for it? Giving it a where shot? She from? She's from here. That's all true, but shit, that's I, I don't want to corrupt it or leave huh? here not giving it a shot to try and That's fine, we can do it. We can take it and give it a shot. Because really, I mean, it, it's not our fault, but it kind of is. Yeah. Caleb says we can even destroy him. We can't. We're not going to do that tonight. We're, we're not going to come back and do it. He'll leave here. Because he knows we're not going to come back. Things that I, I want us to do. We need to bless you. Okay. Caleb, Caleb is Caleb still here listening? Yeah. One of the things that I want to do, Caleb, is close those portals. Can we do that with the holy water and the prayer? We've done it before. He says you better have a strong prayer. Mike always has a certain This side door is locked, but the front door is open. Okay. Where's okay. your soda at? My soda's on the table. Got a straw in it, right? Yeah. 
And then, um... This side door's locked, but the front door's open. Okay. Where's okay. your soda at? My soda's on the table. Got a straw in it, right? Yeah. And then, um... Let's give a game plan for how we're going to attack when we get in there. Okay? Caleb, I, know that I have to know. Why, why would you say that? He said that you guys have to limit what I know. Okay. Okay, then that leaves me... Oh, are you going to use me for bait? No. It just means when we're doing what we're going to do in there, you, you need to be someplace safe. Where's the safest place for her to be, Caleb? Um, he Caleb. said actually setting where I was setting when I first got her recording. That's really close to the stage. He said actually setting where I was setting when I first got her recording. That's really close to the stage. Probably you right seen him? On this front window where you were sitting. Like on that, there. what about that wooden one, bench? One of the first benches, yeah. You've seen him, Caleb? You saw him in your own. I just want to be done with this. If I thought we could get rid of him tonight, I would gladly do it, but we're not prepared. I think it's hilarious. He's like a monkey in a cage stuck on that stage. See, I need to get pissed and I need to get my thoughts back and what I can do instead of what he wants me to do. And I really need you and Black Crow to keep them off me because I don't need nobody talking through me. If I need Ginger, I'll talk to Pete, but this is something I have to do because I'm, I'm tired of being afraid of him. Let's figure out a plan. If there's something that you guys need to talk about, I'll walk over there. I wish you would have brought the camera out because we keep getting little black things peeking around the corner. Terry's got it. Mm -hmm. oh, I see if I can peeking around the corner. They're around the corner. Crossing like in front of you. Children. That was just the thing to see if we'd go back to Jerome. Yeah, I knew that was bait. We're getting a little wiser to the way they do things and some of the trickery. I mean, this we could have easily fallen for this if we hadn't had a spiritual hadn't help telling us. I don't think she even slipped. I think she intentionally told me the dark will get you. Yeah. To warn me. From I swear a, I do. Goodness. So too. Yeah. Because I still have a feeling in my heart that I seen her three years ago and I fell in love with her. You can, you can go ahead and kill it if you want. I mean, it's been running enough. Well. This dark spirit that Liz is talking about, she calls him the surgeon. We first encountered him in an investigation we did in Jerome, Arizona in 2010. We were investigating the Jerome Grand and that's where we ran into this guy. He didn't show up on the first day that we were there but he showed up the, that night and uh, basically attacked Liz and she was really sick. We thought for a while we might have to take her to the hospital. Thank God we didn't end up having to do that and she gradually got better and by the second night she was able to to get back to investigating with us on a limited scale but she was able to get back with us and help us but she calls him the surgeon and we believe that this guy was a doctor in Jerome in the early 1900s. 
and that he was connected to at least one of the brothels that were flourishing back then. It was a mining community, so, you know, lots of guys, lots of brothels. And uh, we believe that he was the one responsible for performing abortions on the, the prostitutes that were unfortunate enough to get pregnant and that he performed these at the hospital there, which later became and is now the Jerome Grand Hotel. So this spirit, we had dealt with him before. We knew what he could do. He was very dark, very powerful, was human, but still had a lot of power and a lot of things that he could do. And he could manipulate Liz. He could get into her head and mess up her thinking, get her confused, get her thoughts all cloudy, and get her to do things and say things that she definitely would not normally say or do. So the reason I'm adding this is just to give you an indication, an idea of why Liz feels the way she does about that spirit. It's because she, what she'd been through with him before, and even since, he's even still tried to get to her several different times even though we haven't been back to Jerome since 2010. So just like this time he would find ways that he could reach out and try and get her. I think, I guess he sees her as some kind of great prize that if he could get her and grab onto her spirit that she would be like this Energizer bunny that he could just charge himself with and become that much stronger. And that's theory or speculation on my part, but that's what I think. <laughs> 